Hi, I'm Andrew House, President and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment. <laughs> you know how this goes by now. I stand up here and tell you about all the shady business deals we got going on, about how we're trying to pull the wool over your eyes and screw you over and all that jazz. So here we go. Sony is drowning. We're trying very hard to stay relevant in the world of video games. And we are failing. When the PS1 came out, we were a shoe in The only competition was the N64, not that Sega Saturn. And we could do everything they couldn't. I mean, look at this. This is the best they could do with an M rating. Bleeped out curse words. They couldn't even say fuck. And look at me now. I'm saying fuck. The PS2 was sold out for nearly a year after its release. We were so powerful, we blew Sega out of the console market, and to this day, it is still the highest selling game console of all time. Now, the PS3 was a gaudy monstrosity and cost way too much, but people bought it, and it stood as a multimedia platform for everyone who wanted a PC for the living room. And now we get to the meat of the problem. See, Sony is the everyman in the world of gaming. We can appeal to everyone, but we're also easily replaceable. We don't have the brand recognition of Nintendo, but we've got our own characters. We don't have the online capabilities of Xbox, but we... Okay, we fucked that one up. But at least the PSN is working again. We don't have the expedience of mobile and L gaming, but at least we have something. And maybe we aren't as powerful as a PC, but we aren't as expensive. Unless you factor in the maintenance of a PC versus the quality of the machine over a period of time for after about a year, an average PC cannot perform one of our systems. You see our problem here, folks? We're spread too thin. We're the jack of all trades of gaming. We do a little bit of everything, but we don't excel at anything. We are second best to everyone else. And worst of all, people still seem content to stick with the old PS3s. It's been eight years. Why are these things not obsolete yet? And looking at our stats, we seem to be doing well. Kinda. We're outselling the competition. Microsoft, not by much. And Nintendo just released Mario Kart 8. And the new Smash Brothers still isn't out yet. Honestly? If we didn't outsell the other consoles, we'd be dead. Staying just ahead of them is the only thing keeping us in the world of gaming. And yes, we have music and computers and other random electronic things, but if we lose gaming, do you know what we become? A glorified Best Buy. We don't want to be Best Buy. We want to be a gaming company. Sony. We're kind of screwed.